Hello and welcome to How to Cook Hash Browns with Hashi the Brown. These are some great hash browns sponsored by Betty Crocker. They are great. We are going to try to cook them today. If you see on the back, there are definitely instructions on how to make them. We will go over these later. So, what we are going to first do is we have pre-prepared a shot right here. This shot is going to help me get warmed up. And don't worry about this, it's not a health contamination violation because I said so. So we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of this. Oh, <laughs> I don't care that you see that I can't take a shot because it fucking sucks. And no one can deny the fact that that shit sucks. Ow, fuck, sorry, I forgot my hand was broken. Go oh, away. Sorry, I forgot my hand was broken. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out of here. And sometimes it is stuck to the box. Alright, so we got this out of here. This looks great. It looks like a bag of french fries. Go ahead and open it up. We open up the hash browns. Oh, oh it hurts to pull. Alright, so we have... They definitely don't look like anything I would want to eat. Let us see if you can just get a great shot on there. They are definitely the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the expiration date. 10 July 02. Okay, I can't tell. It just said... Oh. <laughs> Ow. So, here are the directions to make some hash browns. Mix potatoes, one one third cups hot water, three tablespoons margarine or butter, and one teaspoon salt and ten inch non stick skillet. Heat uncovered to boiling over medium high heat, stirring several times until margarine is melted. Continue cooking uncovered without stirring three to five minutes or until liquid is absorbed and the bottom is brown. Now, you want to turn the pancake turn and cook about one minute longer or until the bottom is brown. And that's all we gotta do. So, what we got here is our pan that we don't even have on. So we need one one third cup of hot water. So what we must first find is a cup to measure one one third. Let's find it now. Here is a cup. We'll wash it out really quickly. All you do is rinse some water in it. And if you scrutinize my dishwashing skills, I'll kick your fucking ass. Alright, so we have a we have a one one third mark on this this cup, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up to there. Maybe I will. Maybe. Maybe. I just had a dream. It told me to use the milk. So but we need warm milk. What will we do? I don't know. We'll just use the water instead. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. Ow. 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 So let's just keep going with what we're doing here. We're going to use hot milk. And I don't know how we're going to prepare that. Can we use milk? You want to use milk and hash browns. You want to use milk and hash browns. You want to use milk and hash browns? You want to use milk and hash browns? Oh, ow. I've got my tongue. Alright, one one third cup. We also need 
three tablespoons of hot butter. Shit. Shit. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix in, we've got our one one third cup hot water, we're gonna mix in our three tablespoons of margarine or butter. So, I have no fucking clue how much three tablespoons is, so see this? I'm just gonna drop in a chunk and just scoop it out with my hands into the water. Wow! You might be thinking, 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 what is this guy doing? This guy, right here, is making art. Alright, so we're gonna keep throwing in more butter. And pretty much, if you have a little bit of butter left, we're just gonna scrape all that out. Cause, cause we're poor and we don't have a lot of butter, so... All of that out. And here. That's too much butter. Alright. So we're good there. We're just gonna wash our hands off. And then we're gonna, what the last part calls for is just doing that. Alright. So what we're doing here is we're just mixing the hash browns and the hot water and the butter together. And we're gonna turn it on medium high heat to cook. We're gonna take the butter and just mash it around. With all, this is the most disgusting part you could possibly do. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing it. But what you're doing is mixing the butter with it because ultimately, ultimately that's what's happening is the butter is mixing with the water and then mixing with the hash brown. So you just want to get a nice uniform, a nice um, thing, you know, make it look nice. There we go. And then put that out there. And we'll just let that fry up. Yeah, because it's supposed to be. And we're live. So what's supposed to happen is the hash browns will all take shape and absorb the water as well as the butter. I think I might have a heart attack. No, I'm good. After it cooks for a little while, it says heat uncovered to boiling over medium high heat, stirring several times until margarine is melted. So we must stir it several times until margarine is melted. Fortunately, we already have something in our dishwasher that will help us stir it. And make sure that margarine is melted. Looks like little pieces of bacon. It looks like little pieces of bacon! Okay, so we just stir it, making sure the margarine is melted. Turn the heat up slightly. It says to cook them for about five minutes. So we're going to cook them until it's completely absorbed. We're going to go ahead and drain out some of the water here. We have drained out the water, as you see, there's not as much water. And we are attempting to cook these. No idea how long they've been in the pantry, but we're going to go on a limb and say not that long. Because they honestly look like pieces of bacon. Bacon, look at this, bacon. How could potatoes survive for that long? Honestly, might not ever eat it because potatoes are not supposed to look like bacon. There you go, now it's frying. Very good, dude. We just needed it to fry. What? We just needed it to fry. Now it's burning because we're not turning it. I smell it. So I know this looks a lot like ground beef, but it's not. It's potatoes. We'll eat it eventually. I promise. I can't handle how long this is taking. It's starting to smell like potatoes. I just don't know how good box potato. I just don't know how good box potatoes are. This started out to be a skit, but I'm wondering if fucking Betty Crocker, Betty Crocker hash browns are even good for your health. I mean, I followed the directions to the point. I had too much water. It looks like it looks like fucking bacon. 
And I just see no form of cooking. It's just kind of... I just don't... I just don't know if I'm going to eat this, honestly. Because I smell it burning, but I don't see it burning. And that makes me wonder... What are you doing, Betty Crocker? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? I might not eat these, honestly. This is too much. This is too much to handle. Hello, we're just gonna go ahead and add some cheese. It smells, it smells delicious. Oh. So we're just gonna put that there. And you see the cheese is melting nicely. I honestly have no idea when to pull this off. I'm not even a chef. I was an accountant for four years at a banking firm in Philadelphia and somehow I got stuck doing this gig. I don't even like it. But it pays the bills. Great benefits. Hash browns. It's pretty good. So our hash browns are almost done here. We see they're very cheesy and very queasy. I don't know if I'm going to survive after I eat them. Hopefully my cameraman Jacob will help me out. I want to keep cooking them to make sure there's no bacteria. But I also do not want to burn them and burn every bit of flavor out of them. They honestly look like bacon cheese fries. We have the hash browns melted with cheese. We'll top them off as they just came off the grill with a little bit of salt. And we'll put the cheese away because that is what a good cook does. And we have the hash browns. Very good. We will do a taste test. We will have myself and my filmmaker, I mean my cameraman, Take a bite of these and see just how they are. There you go. Take whatever bite you'd like. Ready? Yep. I have decided. That was the worst decision I've ever made. Those tasted terrible.